Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth1204 for another episode of Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we learned why sequence breaking is not always a good idea. In this episode, we are going to get a chocobo and not repeat our past mistakes. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that Midgar Zolem. Nobody could defeat it. At least not at this point. Interesting thing about the Midgar Zolem is that it has an enemy skill called Beta that if you work really hard and do a whole bunch of stuff you can get at this point in the game and because you don't have to kill the enemy. Yeah, I want a Chogobo. You old fools are out of luck. Old folks? <laughs> We're all out of Chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for somebody else. You know, if you really want a Chocobo, you should go out and catch one. No. No, no not interested. Yes, I'll tell you chocobo lore. I'll, I'll tell you how to buy, how to get a chocobo. Anyway, what you have to do? No, oh, you don't have to. All oh, right, I need. You need two thousand gil. That stinks, right? Right? Can I get an amen? I'll be back when I have two thousand gil. Okay. Well, here's a new enemy. In the meanwhile, uh, let's sensify them. That's <laughs> senseless killing. Mandragora. Hundred twenty health. Okay, these enemies. Ah, uh, stinking little pieces of garbage in their own little right. These are moos. Now, the moos actually have a uh, enemy skill that I once called Level 4 Suicide. So, I'm gonna try to get it. Because Level 4 Suicide, aside from being uh, pretty good, I'm pretty sure it reduces health to a quarter or something like that. I'm not really sure because I've never really gotten it before, but it can be used to get another really, really hard to get uh, limit, uh, uh, enemy skill. He just healed me. Ha. Huh. I wonder if he's supposed to do that. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, you used to get another hard limit skill from a chocobo, actually. But they have to use it. Oh, die! Die, you cute little things! Please? You know, I'll use chocomog on it. I'll see how that works. It's gonna heal Cloud, isn't it? No, no. I was horribly mistaken. Anyway, this is what chocomog looks like. There's actually two versions of it. One is this which is Death Blow, and there's also Fat Chocobo, which is very hard to find, uh, very hard to get. Anyway, yeah, that, that, that annihilated them. Chocomog is good on some enemies in this point of the game, but it gets out, it gets outpowered really, really fast. So anyway, I'm gonna cut to me getting level 4 suicide. Um, also, see, so I have 2,000 gil, you're gonna want more than that. Like, 3, 3,000, 4,000 ish. Anyway, bye bye Oh, for God's sakes, another new anime! This is an alpha dunk. <laughs> I don't know what kind of terrible contraction of words it is, but it deserves it. I'm going to put it out of my misery. It's like that, that game with the elephant with all the butterflies coming out of its nose and it's funny. It's elephant, the elephant or something. 220 health, and that says, no redeeming factors. I shall send you to meet your maker. This shall soon be an ex-alpha dunk. Anytime now. Anytime now. There we go. Yo, you heiress. It's playing the same song from Tiffa's piano. Oh, level 4 suicide. Yes, thank the heavens. And I learned it. And now you shall all die by my hand. If you notice, Eris and Frozen have blue limit gauges is because that shower thing from the alpha dunk gave them sadness. Now they're all depressed and it makes the limit fill up slower. There's also a condition called hyper which makes it faster. I think it makes you do dam more damage. I think sadness might give you more defense. I'm not sure. But anyway we have more money than we can ever want. And level 4 suicide. I never thought I'd be happy to have suicide. That's a scary thought. And my timing is all out of whack now because my timer says 11 minutes and it's probably only three or four depending on how much of the battles I put in. Chocobo lore, yes, I want the damn thing. I wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either. Uh, this is where they get you. They get you with all the little side products. So anyway, this is different greens that you use to attract chocobos. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of Gasol greens not a good idea because the more expensive the green the longer it keeps the chocobo occupied 
and that means the easier it is to catch it. So what I'm going to do is equip the chocobo lure materia before I forget. There we go. And go to a chocobo. Level 4 suicide is kind of one of those attacks where it works on things that are, you know, like, time, the, the divisible by 4 thing, person. Anyway, getting into... Actually, you know what? Yeah, just give me a second. Okay, now what you want to do is, now that you have the chocobo lore equipped, you want to just walk on the chocobo tracks continuously. Eventually you'll find one, and it's going to play the music from my outro. Hopefully. When the battle starts. Any day now. Any time. There we go. You hear that? That means you found a chocobo. What you want to do is do not attack the chocobo. What you want to do is as quickly as possible find the damn greens. No, 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 no. Ah, you bastard. That's what you don't want to happen. No, and I used the tantal greens on the stupid bird and it healed the oh, son of a bastard. <sighs> what you want to do is put the greens at the first item on your item list so that it doesn't take you forever to find it! Blah! I'm sorry, I just get emotional around chocobos. <laughs> They're so pretty! No! Not clown! <laughs> Took you goddamn long enough. Oh god, not those enemies. Anyway, throw the tantal greens at it before it can react. Uh, kill everything else in sight. The chocobo, hopefully if you are fast enough, the chocobo will still be eating while you're killing everything else in sight, as I previously mentioned. Please, please kill the things. Now what you don't want to do... Okay, throw another tantal greens at it. What you don't want to do is attack the chocobo because that's just going to be a bad idea. Wark. Yeah, wark your face. No, I didn't want to... Oh, ah, whatever. If you kill all the other enemies, I'll catch the chocobo. Since... How to ride a chocobo. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm not getting chocobo choco buckle now. I will, maybe off screen, maybe not. I will at some point. But the chocobo, first of all, no random encounter. Second of all, it can run fast. What it can't do is completely outrun the Midgar Zolum, but if you just keep going in the general direction, you can outrun it like this. And what do we do when we get to the Mithril Mines? We see something? Oh dear. That's the head upside down, by the way. I did not know that. Did Sephiroth do this? Oh, oh my. Hello. Our enemy is someone that could do this? Hello, Poppy. It's a power we should respect. I don't like you. Anyway, let's get out of here. Sephiroth killed a Midgar Zolom. Not the, but a. Oh god, I have no idea where I am on time. My timer says I'm at 20 minutes. I'm probably only at 5. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the Mithril Mine quickly. Okay, I'm getting off this damn thing. See you later. Go get eaten. Ah, uh, you were now nowhere near the Zolum. Mithromine. Interesting place. Very interesting place. This is a great place, if you have Matrix Magic, to grind the heck out of the enemies in terms of the counters. First thing you want to do is around here. Is, yeah. This fine. Not too apparent that you could do that, but there's an important materia up here. At least one that I like. I really should take off the, the Chocobo lure materia. 
Okay, let's start sensing things over here since we have a whole bunch of new enemies. Maybe I'm just gonna use Matron Magic because I'll probably be fighting these enemies more anyway. Castanets. Her dress is all polygonal. Hundred, yeah, weak against fire. Very nice. Flame. Oh, there's another enemy skill. Yeah, you will like that also. That is a very powerful enemy skill at this point in the game. Uh, I forgot that they had it. Sometimes forgetting is good, kids. Okay, so now is this the air dragon thingy? Let's try to attack it. Please don't kill me. Oh, arc dragon. 280 health, weak against wind. Chocomog elemental, huh? Huh? Who's with me? Look at that damage. Ah, good times. Good times. And I just have to get those worm snake thingies. Okay, so now we have three enemy skills. How about that? Anyway, this is the long-range materia. Pretty much, when you equip it to somebody, it treats them like they are in the back row, so you can put somebody, aka Cloud, in the back row, he'll still do the same damage, but take less damage. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. Why are you not agreeing with me? I can't hear you. Louder! Louder! Not that loud. Anyway, we have ether and a box with a tent and that is not from the box that is the annoying enemy encounter system at work okay we got those weird worm type thingies so now I'll stick from them uh, I'm going to summon Chocomog because I can and yes Eris and Frozen are still sad nothing to steal that's right, they're boring. Fat Chocobo! Oh man, the, the chances for getting this. I only got it like three times in my past playthroughs. Look at that, and it's gonna kill everything. That's a lot of damage to everybody. You have a very small chance of getting that. It's it's something like a maybe 12% chance. I don't know. I don't know the I don't know the specific odds, but suffice to say, you usually don't see it. And we still have not used sense on those creatures, but I don't care. We have to rush because I have no idea where the recording is, time-wise. And there's a few things to do in the mines here. The mines are not too big, but uh, they're big enough. Is this? A oh God, these things—they are ridiculously weird looking. Yeah, that—that—that's my—that's my analysis. They look ridiculous. I like using Bolt. Bolt usually works against most enemies. It's a Madoge! 220 health, not weak. Not weak at all. And I'm pretty sure the thing that they that you can steal from them is something that you want to steal, but I could also be horribly mistaken like I have been in the past. Like, like, you know, really badly mistaken. I can't steal for... Okay, this is definitely taking time. This is, this is, there's, there's no way that it's not 15 minutes right now. Oh boy, I'm just gonna cut out that last fight, because it was, or most of it at least, the, it was pointless. Mind source, I'm gonna use these all at some point, but not immediately. I don't think that that's an entrance, or exit, or path. Okay, all leveled up in that fight. When all levels up, it just allows you to use it all another time. Ooh, Turks. Just a second. I like the music. It's like... I hope I never see you again. Do you know who I am? From the Turks, right? Well, if you know this, then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Oh, I get it. No. Sir! Hello. It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then Elena, explain. I'm the newest member of the Turks. Elena, thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short of people. Because remember we beat him up on the pillar? Although because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Cha-ching! In any case, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed and try to stop you every step of the way. Cha-ching! Wait a minute, it's the other way around. You're the ones who are getting in our way. 
Uh huh, I'm so confused. Elena, you talk too much. Hey, it's Tsangy Poo. Mr. Tsang! <laughs> I called him Tsang. That, that was weird. No need to tell them about our orders. Yeah, she talks too much. All the time. Sorry, Tsang. I thought I gave you other orders. Now go, don't file, forget to file your report. Oh, right! Very well, Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's head to Junon Harbor! Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh! I'm sorry. Go, don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir! <laughs> like, you talk too much. Sephiroth's going to Junon Ho Oh! Oh. Oh, Rina said he went to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show you his affection for you all with a new weapon. I can't wait. Hello, well then. Well, there is a long time no see. Looks like you got away from the Shinra for a while now that Sephiroth reappeared. What are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephiroth? <laughs> no. Well, I won't be seeing too much of you, so take care. Strange hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. Meh. I'm telling you, I have a different opinion of Tsang. But we'll see that later in the game. Okay, here's the last items. That is the exit where Tsang exited. Ooh, an elixir. And a high po- High potion? Hi! Uh, and we just go the way that Rude did. Anyway, if you liked this episode, let me know in the comments. I haven't said that in a while. And, uh, yeah. We're on the other side now. Next step is to head to Fort Condor. Which we will in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.